Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price, we're also gonna have a look into Ethereum and at the end also into the DXY and Nasdaq. So apparently the panic sell on the Bitcoin is full in play my friends. We are seeing right now Bitcoin trading at around $40,000. So in this video, we're gonna analyze why this could be a very nice buy opportunity and also how we could time the moment that Bitcoin could potentially bottom out and gear up again towards a new all time highs. Because what we are seeing right now is a perfect panic sell scenario that Bitcoin is just crashing without any bigger breeders, even though we are still waiting for a breeder. But um, in this video, we're gonna cover several indicators that are suggesting that we have right now a good buy opportunity, but also that we could easily come a little bit more down before we definitely bottom out and gear up again uh, towards new all time highs and of course also continue our bull market. So we're gonna start straight into the daily time frame because the lower time frames are all oversold and here now since uh, days almost we are waiting for a breather based on the lower time frames. So we're gonna focus more on the important indicators right now and of course also into the bigger time frames. So we're gonna switch straight here into the daily time frame because as you can see Bitcoin right now is getting supported by the 200 daily moving average. So it's going to be very, very important that in the next coming days and especially today, we are able to close at least above the 200 daily moving average here at $40,000. Otherwise, I'm afraid that we could easily drop towards $35,000 and maybe even lower. So it's gonna be very key that Bitcoin here at the 200 daily moving average is getting at least a little breather or bounce to the upside or at least go sideways here above the 200 daily moving average Otherwise, things will start to look quite ugly here, my friends. So here in the daily time frame, the good thing is that currently we are seeing here a nice support right at 40K. We dipped this morning below this moving average, but as you can see, the bulls came in and bought this dip immediately back up. So let's hope that we have enough buyers here to support the price above the 200 daily moving average. And here I just want to show you again the hash ribbons indicator because as you can see this green buy signal that we had yesterday got confirmed even though we dropped down to 40k so that is a good sign and what we have to do right now in my opinion is just to wait until we are getting here that blue buy signal in the hash ribbons indicator i think once we are getting this blue signal we can time more or less when bitcoin should be ready to gear up again towards new all-time highs and continue the bull market so until here we are not seeing a blue buy signal in my opinion we most likely just go sideways here maybe between 40 to 50k or potentially even drop a bit lower before we are definitely out of the woods and have a clear bottom and in my opinion after we're getting this blue buy signal we should be again try to buy as much bitcoin as possible because if here we are bottoming out and we're getting a nice blue buy signal i think that will be the time then to go all in into bitcoin all the profits that you took here between 50 to 60k if you took some profits or if you have some cash on the sideline you should be then again all into bitcoin because uh, latest then i'm expecting here a big reversal and continuation of our bull market because i still remain with the opinion that this is not the cycle top at 65k and we're gonna see potentially a cycle top towards the end of this year and not before that so here on the daily time frame, you can also see that in my own indicator, we are currently very, very oversold. Also the RSI is turning into green. That usually means that we are potentially bottoming out here and we could get a breather or a reversal very soon. Also, you can see that in my own indicator, we are still in oversold condition and we still don't have any kind of buy signal. So as long as here we are not getting a confirmed buy signal like we had in the past here, I still remain more with the opinion that we most likely here at the 200 daily moving average will go sideways or maybe even continue to drop a bit lower before we definitely bottom out and then continue our 
parabolic moves towards new all-time highs because don't forget the sentiment can change very very quickly here in the crypto space so right now everyone is in panic mode but this can change very quickly from one minute to the other so don't think that we are right now entering into a huge prolonged bear market in my opinion this is just still a huge correction that was overdue and after this big washout and correction we should again be on track towards our potential cycle top way above 100k but for now of course there is a panic and that's why usually those are always good buy opportunities and another indicator that is suggesting that right now you should be buying bitcoin is the stock to flow model price levels that we also covered in uh, some videos ago and here i showed you the different moving averages from the stock to flow model price and usually bitcoin should be trading right now at around 50k maybe even a little bit higher and every time we are dipping below this blue line and we come close to this green line usually that in the past was always a very very good buy opportunity for the long term that wouldn't mean that this is the bottom once we're touching this green line but very often it was the bottom and also here it was always a good buy opportunity for the long term so what we are seeing right now based on this stock to flow in indicator is that we bounced exactly here at this green line as you can see this week here in the daily time frame came exactly at this bottom line so based on this indicator you should be buying right now here at around 40k because usually in the past this always acted as a very good indicator that suggested that here you should be buying bitcoin and we are very oversold so we can also scroll back in time here and you can see that every time that Bitcoin came between this blue and green line, this was always a very good buy opportunity, even in bear markets. Here you can see the Corona dump also brought us back down towards this green moving average. And also here we exactly bounced at this important price level. The same goes also here for the bear market in 2018 when we had this big crash down towards 3k. We exactly bottomed out here at this green moving average and afterwards once we were recovering again above the blue line we started our continuation towards this 40k top. And we can go even more back in time because also in previous bull markets this green moving average always was a very good sign that right now you should be buying Bitcoin because we are very oversold. And that's why based on this indicator, based on the stock to flow price model and its moving averages, you should be buying Bitcoin right now, my friends. So that's why I still remain very optimistic here that we could be very close to a bottom. I'm not calling here this 40K a bottom, but it could be a potential bottom just based on the 200 daily moving average and also based on the stock to flow price model. And also considering that the nine monthly moving average, my potential bearish target here right at $35,000 is very close. I think that maybe we could dip down towards the $35,000 to finally test this nine monthly moving average after we got here a sell signal in the monthly time frame in April. I still remain with this target that we potentially could come down to test $35,000 and here find a potential bottom but at the end, everything you are buying here between 35,000 and 40K will be a very good buy opportunity for the long term, in my opinion, and also based on those indicators. So if you just DCA into Bitcoin between 40 and $35,000, in my opinion, it will be a very good buy opportunity for the long term. But of course, that doesn't mean that this is the bottom, but it's a potential bottom based on those indicators. I also bought a little bit here at 40K right now. If we're gonna see a dip down towards $35,000 and we're gonna go immediately back up above 40K, I'm gonna go again all in into Bitcoin because for me, that would be the sign that this was the bottom and we most likely gonna revert especially once we're getting here a buy signal in my own indicator in the daily time frame and also once we're getting that blue buy signal in the hash ribbons indicator that will be for me the last confirmation that the bottom is in and that we most likely gonna revert here and continue our bull market but until then the danger is here that we still can drop lower down towards 35k before we definitely bottom out but already here at those 
price levels based on those indicators that is already a very good buy opportunity and also considering that right now everyone is talking about prices again sub 20k makes me believe that the bottom is very soon in and that we most likely gonna revert here very very soon and then of course continue our bull market so based on those indicators already here at 40k it's a very good buy opportunity and if we're gonna dip down towards 35k that will be the last resort for the bulls to come in because if we are starting to close monthly candles below the nine monthly moving average that will be the confirmation for me that we are entering into a bear market and we should be prepared to see prices again below twenty thousand dollars because during bear markets bitcoin always comes down towards a 200 weekly moving average and that weekly moving average is currently here at thirteen thousand dollars you can also see here in the past during old bear markets we always came down to the 200 weekly moving average and afterwards we bounced from it but the 200 weekly moving average is a very important moving average that bitcoin always comes down during bear markets and if we're gonna start to close monthly candles below the nine monthly moving average same like we did here in 2017 it acted afterwards as a resistance for the whole bear market then I think that is the confirmation that the bull run is over for now and we should face here several months of bear market but until then until we are not seeing monthly closes below the nine monthly moving average so below 35k I still remain with the opinion that the bull market is not over and we very soon gonna revert back up towards the new all-time highs and continue our uptrend so we have several indicators that are suggesting that we could find a bottom very soon here and also as soon as we are closing again daily candles within the Bollinger Bands then I'm expecting a breather towards the top of the Keltner channels which are currently here at around 55k and if we are able to push higher and also start to close daily candles again above the Keltner channels then I think we are definitely out of the woods and we continue our bull market because we are also very very oversold in the lower time frames and even here in the stochastic RSI you can see that we are completely flat in the daily time frame we are at zero here so it's just a matter of time until here we're gonna get a breather and with that breather then we're gonna see if we can come back into our bull market or if we're gonna continue to create lower highs and therefore also afterwards expect continuation to the downside so this is everything that we're gonna have to see once we're getting that breather towards the top of the Keltner channels currently here at 55k then we're gonna see if the bulls are strong enough to push us again above the Keltner channels and continue our bull market or if we just continue to create lower highs and therefore the danger then is very high that we finally could come back down towards the nine monthly moving average and as soon as we have monthly closes below the nine monthly moving average that will be then the confirmation that we are in a bear market but until then i still remain very bullish that this could be a very nice buy opportunity and we should look forward towards the new all-time highs in the next coming weeks and now let's switch over into the ethereum price chart because as you can see yesterday we closed below the 20 daily moving average we got this confirmation that the 20 daily moving average is now resistance and the next support is down here at the 50 daily moving average at two thousand eight hundred dollars so since right now we are potentially entering also here for ethereum into a uh, at least short term bear market i'm expecting here a full retracement back down towards the main support of this channel that we are in now since many weeks and the current support is here at two thousand four hundred dollars right where the 100 daily moving average is lining up so even though ethereum is still looking healthy and bullish here in the daily time frame and we're still far away from the 200 daily moving average down here at one thousand six hundred dollars i still expect that ethereum also here will continue the uptrend and latest here at two thousand four hundred dollars we're gonna have a big bounce to the upside and why i think that the correction here is not over is because right now we are dropping below the 50 level in the rsi so if we're gonna confirm today that we are now trading below the 50 level in the rsi that will suggest that we at least are coming down to test 2400 dollars and here i'm expecting a huge bounce to the upside because if here 
here we are not able to bounce then be prepared that also here for ethereum we could see a massive drop potentially even below the 200 daily moving average because the next potential big support is down here at around 700 dollars and that of course would be a huge crash here for ethereum which in my opinion it's not very likely but if 2400 dollars here is getting lost uh, the chance is very high that uh, we could drop even down to those levels so if Bitcoin is not able to get a bounce very soon here at 40k and have that breather, then I'm afraid that here for Ethereum things could start to look very ugly here, especially if we're going to drop below $2,400. But as long as we are within this channel, I still expect that Ethereum could recover here very soon and then of course also continue to push uh, towards a new all-time highs. And the next potential resistance is somewhere here at around $5,000. And since Ethereum is starting to correct heavy here and we are seeing right now also a lot of other altcoins uh, dropping a lot, I still expect that the Bitcoin dominance here very soon is going to get a big bounce to the upside because also in the Bitcoin dominance right now we are in very oversold condition and we are at the levels that we were in the last cycle top in 2017. So we are at the same levels here between 40 to 35 percent. And that's why I think here very, very soon we're going to get also in the Bitcoin dominance a big bounce to the upside. And that will mean that a lot of money will float back into Bitcoin and a lot of altcoins will bleed a lot. As soon as here in the Bitcoin dominance, we're going to have a big bounce to the upside, which will come for sure sooner or later. That's why I'm telling you, my friends, with altcoins, always to take some profits out into some stable coins or into Bitcoin, because the goal is always to accumulate more Bitcoin and not altcoins. So during uptrends and bull markets, you can do a lot of money with altcoins but those I never recommend to hodl for the long term especially not during bear markets if you accumulate as much Bitcoin as possible and you sell a bit but you keep the most also during bear markets then it's not that bad as you would hold altcoins because usually altcoins during bear markets are getting decimated that's why if you want to hold a coin during a bear market then make sure that it's Bitcoin and not any random altcoin so we are seeing right now blood on the streets and that is usually always a good buy opportunity for the long term especially if you're buying some more bitcoin right now and another reason why i still expect at least a breather here for bitcoin and the altcoins is here in the dxy because the dxy is still falling and we are still below the 90 dollars level so it's very weird to see that everything is dropping and not only the crypto market and stock market but even the dxy is falling so something is not right here we're gonna see one of the two for sure have a big bounce to the upside the question is only will it be the dxy or the crypto the stock market so let's wait and see in my opinion something is not right here and very very soon we're gonna see the truth and since the dxy is still in a downtrend and trading below the 200 daily moving average i still expect that the dxy will continue here to plunge and we're gonna see the opposite very soon in the crypto and stock market because the crypto and stock market especially bitcoin and in the stock market for example nasdaq is still trading above the 200 daily moving average also nasdaq currently is coming very close to the 200 daily moving average here at twelve thousand five hundred dollars that's why here in theory we are in both assets still in an uptrend as long as we're trading above the 200 daily moving average and we should still remain optimistic here that we're gonna have big continuations to the upside especially as long as the dxy is in a downtrend and trading below the 200 daily moving average so i know that right now it's very hard to huddle through and buy some more bitcoin because uh, we are in a potential free fall here but for the long term at the stages that we are right now this was always a very good buy opportunity and that's why i am still buying more bitcoin at those price levels and i don't expect that we are about to crash below $35,000 anytime soon. But if so, then everything would be changing, of course. But until then, I still remain more optimistic. And I think that the bottom could be very, very soon here. And we most likely gonna revert very soon again to the upside. And this big correction phase that we had here from 65K down to 40K is over. And we can look towards new all-time highs very soon.
So let me know in the comment section, my friends, what do you think? Is the bottom in here or are we gonna continue to crash sub $30,000? Let me know what are your thoughts. And with that said, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos. And also, if you're interested in my own indicator, you can get it by the YouTube memberships here, starting from the premium supporter. If you're getting the premium supporter membership or the premium trader, you will get access to my own indicator live stream here on YouTube and also on Discord. And if you keep the premium trader membership for half a year, you will get the full indicator after six months for your own trading view. And if you just want to support the channel to keep alive these channel then you can just become a supporter for only one dollars a month so if you want to keep alive this channel make sure to support me by a donation of only one dollars a month and speaking about supporting a big shout out goes over to bitscap because they are offering to our community the pro plan for 14 days completely for free this is an all-in-one trading platform where you can run trading bots on your exchanges and also do arbitrage. So if you are interested in that, then make sure to sign up with the link that you find in the description here. And after 14 days, if you are profitable, you can upgrade to a monthly plan, which is starting only by $19 a month. So usually you should get this money very easily and quickly back. And a big shout out goes of course also out to our Discord trading chat. If you want to join our Discord community, then just click the link in the video description and you go then here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you are a human and not a bot. Like this, you have free access to the trading chat. So thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.